All right, guys, we're back. We have a uh, this this all is brand new. I've never I haven't ran it yet. It's for JP 395 Husky. Um, obviously porting it. The only thing I've done taking the decomp out. What I don't buy the plugs. I take the decomp out, clean it, fuse that valve shut with the TIG welder, and put it back in. And then I've muffler modded it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Muffler modded it. So we're going to go out and make a cut or two with it. See what it does stock with a muffler mod. And then we'll do a porting video on it. And grab the phone. Have... That's a Buddy 661. I'm going to do a comparison video. It's ported. I ported it. They actually fully rebuilt the saw. This is Mark Johnson's 500. I'm going to port tomorrow. And then we have another new inbox. 395 back here to port. Um, oh, and the desk. The skid loader's outside. I got a... Um, a big box off a box truck i gotta get get the box off. i actually have the truck i'll well i might as well show you but anyway for the wood i have a small piece of white pine for smaller saws this big piece of white pine for the bigger saws and yeah it's white pine whatever you know you test the saw stock port it if it's four or five seconds faster i mean you you'd you made more power. It doesn't matter if it's hardwood or or softwood. It, it just does not matter. But I'm not using up all my hardwood anymore. Cutting cookies. Then you can get this white pine around here everywhere. It's, everywhere it's considered junk wood. So no sense in cutting up good firewood or mill wood. I mean, you can tell a difference. It doesn't matter if it's soft or hardwood. It doesn't matter. But anyway, down here... This is that box truck I was telling you about. Got it for 200 bucks. It's actually a reefer box, so it's aluminum and fiberglass. It won't ever rust. But it's just big enough to put my skid later in, so I need to get that box ripped off air, junk the rest of the truck, get the skidder put in. I got it under tarp right now, but I like to keep my equipment out of the weather. Last longer that way, but Anyway, back to what I was talking about. Put this old desk in here for now. But then I I have two steel desks that'll go from there to there. Be 10 foot long, 30 inches this way. That way I have, you know, my build bench, you know, in the various stages here. Like, you know, customer saws from... You know what i need to work on first to last you know in order they came in and you know tags on them, everything contact info so I, i'll be able to put quite a bit of saws on those those two benches and you know they'll have drawers and everything because i have just about every service manual still ever made and parts manual so got that going on but anyway we'll get out here and get this sucker fired up I haven't started it yet it still has the limiters on the carb and everything so we'll uh get out here and warm it up and make a cut with it and then next video we'll we'll port it and then we'll run it against that ported 661 it'd be a pretty fair comparison because doing a work saw build in that 95 and that's a work saw build and it might have two tanks through it so both pretty fresh saws and then this one this one's getting a little more than a work saw build i'll say that so we'll do a video on that a separate one all right meet you guys out at the wall all right let's get this sucker warmed up
24 inch bar you had to take a little bit off or we wouldn't have been cutting the whole way through so next video will be porting run the same barred cane um and i'm not going to cut any pedal on this piece of wood with any other saw so you can see there's no knots yeah, it'd be a pretty pretty good test so anyway get this camera turned off and see you guys on the next video